And welcome to Know the Cause. Thank you, everyone, each and every one of you, for joining us every day. 28 minutes, you're going to get a lot of education on today's show. Let's start, because I'm a male with a prostate. I have one, because I am a male. Doctors have developed, as you might guess, folks, out come Dr. Richard Ablin's book. He's the guy who discovered the PSA. Out comes his book, and everybody's skirting. Oh my gosh, what's happening? He's blowing the horn, he's telling the truth, he's blowing the whistle on PSA testing. Never worked, never was a cancer test, still isn't a cancer test, but it did measure effectively three different fungi. Isn't that fascinating? So as a, men, as a man's fungal load got higher, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Well, Vanderbilt University doctors have a brand new dandy test, folks. Step right up. Be the first to get it, and we'll diagnose your prostate problem more accurately. Let, let me be philosophical for just a second. To the best of my knowledge, except for a life insurance test, I don't think I've ever had a PSA test. I don't want to have any test, the BRCA1 for women's breast cancer, I don't want to have any tests that they don't know what to do if it comes back positive. Many, many men's lives have been ruined because of a PSA test. Now we find it isn't or wasn't very accurate. What about this new test? Step right up. Doug Kaufman doesn't think so. Don't go away, a whole lot more on today's Know the Cause. My name is Doug Kaufman. For the past 40 years, I've dedicated my life and even my career to finding the root cause of disease. Join me and a team of physicians, pharmacists, and scientists. And soon you too will know the cause. That is the way many people start out their day. Is this good for the immune system? That's what today's show is all about. What really helps the immune system? So here we have an array of things. We know that sometimes peanuts are impregnated with a mold that actually hurts the immune system. So let me just pour a little of this and get started the right way, the way a lot of people do every morning. Was that simple? I mean, that's really strawberries and almond milk. And you can do any variation of this, you know, at home, but this, Mm. Mm. That's the way to start your morning. Okay. So the immune system, where is it? Do you guys remember going to a doctor and the doctor would feel under your arms, under your neck, top of your legs and so forth? He was looking for lymph node swelling. I can remember a long time ago when I went through medical training, you know, a hundred years ago, uh, that was the immune system. But today we realize 70 or 80% of the immune system is right here in the belly, the good bacteria, the good yeast, and so forth. So when my producer John said to me, let's talk about the immune system, what impedes the immune system, I thought about calling Richard, a friend of mine in Los Angeles at UCLA, who's an immunologist. Maybe I can get him to list five or six things, and then I said, wait a minute. <clears throat> We are blessed on Know the Cause to know a man who's not an immunologist. I mean, he's got advanced degrees, but he's not an immunologist. His name is Frank Jordan. And so we went to Frank and we said, Frank, what impedes the immune system or what accelerates uh, a, a poor, poorly working immune system? And he said, number one is aging. Interesting, as we accelerate, our immune system gets weaker and weaker. Our body stops replacing these immune cells at different rates as we age. Lifestyle. You and I could talk about this <clears throat> for two months, lifestyle. This morning I got out and I did my push-ups, pull-ups, my jogging in place and all the, the things I normally do. Not because I wanted to. At this time of the year, it's a little chilly, it's turning warmer, but I didn't want to be out there doing that, but I feel so good and this works. And this is how I get paid. And for many of you, whether you work in an office, you're a pastor, etc., this is how you get paid. This helps. So lifestyle, poor lifestyle, gluttony, lack of exercise, toxic intake, including alcohol, smoking, and illegal drugs. I, I have to wonder, legal drugs? You know, this is kind of interesting. Some of those you want to suppress your immune system, things like methotrexate and so forth, chemotherapy drugs, uh, you know, but illegal drugs certainly impede the immune system. <clears throat> Diet, 
once again, I just want you to glance over here for a second because we're a film studio and it's kind of interesting how, you know, chocolate donuts and bread and peanut butter and, well, not alcohol, but sugar, things of this sort, canned foods, are often seen in film studios. That, I don't believe, is the way to have healthy immunity. Sugar and white refined products damage and disable the immune response while assisting in creating obesity. So a sedentary lifestyle. If that's the most exercise you get all day, you may have a sedentary lifestyle, changing the channels. Uh, so be active. But it's interesting as I follow along this, I see Frank's face in everything we're saying here. So what's the solution? Try a phase one diet. It seems to address what's wrong with the modern diet. It damages the immune response. You saw those other foods, fast foods, alcohol, etc. Malnutrition, says Frank, is real, even in America, due to poor dietary choices of most people. And I think that's true. And we all, look, this show is never going to shake its finger at you. <clears throat> We're all individual. We're all thumbprints. Some of us, once a week, can stop and get a burger and fries and do just dandy. But I think every day it begins to erode the immune system, right? So good foods, fresh fr uh, foods, that was uh, organic strawberries in there, really get the the coating of the intestine where most of the immune system is, uh, get it coated with good foods every day. Did you know this? Not enough rest impedes the immune system. The body needs to repair and rejuvenate all aspects. And that requires <clears throat> seven to eight hours of sleep each day. I was laughing with my producer here a couple of weeks ago. I got up at 3.30 in the morning and couldn't go back to sleep, and John said he should have called me. We could have talked. He's up at 3.30 in the morning. Now, if you go to bed at 7 or 8 in the evening, that's not so bad. But try and get minimum 7 hours. The 6-hour, the 5-hour really creeps up on you. As we age, it becomes more difficult due to what? We all have constipation, medicine side effects. We're taking stress, illness, media habits. You're getting up at 3 in the morning to watch Know the Cause. That's okay. But to watch anything else, that isn't. Disease and toxins. Life continuously confronts us with the intake of toxins from our environment, diet, uh, and surrounding, and then what you can do about that. We're going to talk about that as the show progresses today because Kyle and Kristen are going to talk about foods and supplements that assist your immune system. And let me just sidebar for a minute. About seven years ago, I began taking Frank's beta-glucan. The science of this product just continues and continues and continues. We've got Dr. Emerson, all sorts of good guests today, so don't go away. Toast to all of you. What immunization products should you take for your heart and circulation? I've had deep vein thrombosis and was critical, so this is a subject literally close to my heart. Your heart is a muscle and pump to be kept in top shape, serviced by your circulatory system for delivering nutrients, vitamins, and oxygen. Immunization circulatory formula with MG beta glucan is recommended to nutritionally help. It keeps your arteries, capillaries, and veins clear of plaque while staying soft and pliable. The second is ammunition CoQ10 with glucan to provide oxygen and energy for the heart, critically needed if you take statin drugs. Your heart doesn't attack you, you neglect your heart. Eat right, exercise regularly, control your weight, and supplement as needed. Do you want your heart pumping long and strong? Then pump up with NSC Ammunition Circulatory with MG Beta Glucan and NSC Ammunition CoQ10. Which of my books fits you? Can you cook your way to wellness? Can you eat your way to wellness? That's the name of a couple of books I've written, Cooking Your Way to Good Health or Eating Your Way to Good Health, loaded with recipes. Whether you want to follow the phase one diet or the phase two diet, please your families with good tasting foods all put together in these two great recipe books. All right, Chris and Cons, Kyle Drew, talking about the immune system and how do we support a healthy immune system? That's the question. You'll see that what we have mostly up here is food and a few supplements because I always think food comes first, Kristen. Well, thanks. I yeah. do. <laughs> I thought you would. Uh, so what do we have here? What do we need to keep so in mind? Basically, I mean, the phase one diet is the best for building your immune system. 
and I think it's like 85% or something like that of our immune system is in our gut. So that's mm. what I think of first when, um, when we're talking about our immune system. So you want to get the good probiotics like the, um, the Bubby's pickles are amazing and your yogurt. And um, sometimes in, in health food stores, you can find live salsa. Um, basically, it has the good probiotics. It's water. It's vegetables, cabbage, It's been carrots, cultured it's been together. Cultured. So it's got the good guy bacteria. Exactly. So, okay. Exactly. Um, and, and like I said, the, the garlic and the onion are just potent, potent antifungals, mm. um, which help to build the immune system. You can put that in broths or salads or whatever. Um, and you've got your green apples. Vitamin C is really big. So you've got your peppers. I think we've got some peppers over here, your tomatoes and broccoli, kale. All those things are going to be really those good. Those good bioflavonoids that yeah. go, go into it. What's this uh, tongue depressor? Okay, the, this is our, the, one of our favorites. <laughs> yes, we talk about this a lot. This is astragalus, and it's so good for the immune system. Yep. If you're making your own bone broth, um, you can put that in, or if you're doing quinoa or any kind of soup or stew, you just let it seep in there while you're cooking it, and then before you eat it, you just take it out and throw it away. No real flavor. No flavor at all. Um, I love it. Just really simple and easy. If you don't want to make your own bone broth, which I do recommend because it's so easy. I, know. I mean, it's water, bones, and some apple cider vinegar. Yep. Um, I did just find this at the market, and you can they they have bones that they do in that apple cider vinegar. And it's it's a good option if you're I love it. not feeling well and don't want to make the bone broth. That's right. Well, when it comes to keeping the immune system up, obviously the food comes first. Uh, but there are some supplements that we can take. You mentioned probiotics. That's going to be a big one. Uh, Frank Jordan's a good friend. Obviously the NSC beta-glucans. But there are certain antifungals that also help stimulate the immune system. Oregano oil is surprisingly one of them. It actually helps boost the immune system. Uh, and garlic is the same way. This is kyolic. And this is a, a classic formula by Source Naturals. It's called Wellness Formula. It has so many of the things that we just talked about. It has the astragalus. It has the garlic. It has something called andrographis. It has olive leaf extract, or actual olive leaf. So it has a lot of these things in concentrated supplement form to help keep everybody healthy all year round, especially during the <coughs> season. Uh, I love these, Kristen. This is where we start. This is where we go afterwards and make sure and get plenty of sleep to keep the immune system up. Thank you so much, Kristen and Kyle. Man, they're important in this business now. You saw number two on Frank's list of what helps the immune system, exercise. But how much exercise do we really get every day? I try and get it in as much as I can. Are you looking for a way to increase your energy level? Exercise is actually a great way to do just that. It promotes better sleep quality, which provides you with more energy the day after you exercise. During physical activity, more blood gets to your brain, which means more oxygen is then absorbed by the brain. This increases mental awareness and energy levels. Many think of exercise as a key to weight loss, but the fact of the matter is, without proper diet and nutrition, exercise primarily helps to maintain weight, not lose it. Weight loss occurs when you're burning more calories than you're taking in. Physical activity also contributes to a better sense of well-being. We know that. Exercise causes chemical changes in your brain, which leads to increased self-esteem and self-control and enables you to even have more self-confidence. Exercise helps build a better you. Every human contains more bacterial cells than human cells. It's essential that your friendly bacteria outnumber the not-so-friendly ones. I'm Dr. Fred Pescatori, and I recommend Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. Because of its unique formulation, it supports a balanced immune response, stable energy levels, and weight management. I believe Dr. O'Hara's probiotics is the most powerful and effective probiotic available today. Remember, it takes guts to stay healthy. I'm Dr. Fred Pescatori. My friend, clinical nutritionist Marty Whittakin, every year she puts on a health fest right here in Plano, Texas, half an hour from the airport. Come see me. I get to speak at 9 a.m. on cancer and fungus. 
duh, what else would I be speaking on? But other people are speaking on holistic dentistry, pain relief, stem cells, brain health, etc. And there's going to be over 100 exhibit booths. What a way to spend a Saturday. Go to naturalhealthfest.com. My friend Marty and I will be there. I look forward to seeing you. If you are working hard on eradicating mold and mycotoxins and not getting anywhere, the common causes that you should ask your healthcare professional to help you identify that may be sabotaging your efforts include intestinal parasites, low stomach acid, low thyroid function, iodine deficiency, low vitamin D, zinc copper imbalances, presence of biofilms, and methylation disruptions. Methylation is one of the ways that we detoxify mycotoxins and produce glutathione. Folate, not folic acid, the methyl or hydroxy forms of vitamin B12 and vitamin B6 can be used to improve methylation pathways. I'm Dr. Greg Emerson for Nova Cause. Oh man, that's good. Here's something I don't understand. What role do insurance companies have in seeing to it that we stay fit, right? Because every time I go to a doctor for an annual, uh, every year, the insurance company shells out thousands of dollars. It's interesting, though, to note that some of my oldster friends, I haven't yet, but some of my oldster friends who are in Medicare uh, are receiving notices from their insurance companies that, what's wrong with you, Mr. Smith? You've been on Medicare for three years and you never went in and had any of these tests done. What's wrong? Don't you care about your body? My issue has always been trust. I worry. As you'll see as the show progresses, I have reason to worry, okay? But lab tests scare me. Shots scare me. Uh, I'm not saying they should scare you. I'm talking about Doug Kaufman here. Uh, diagnoses scare me. And so I try and take very good care of my health into my old age. Here's a few things that one of the major websites, a pharmaceutical website uh, on the internet, say about what men as they age, in their 30s anyway, should get done. I kind of like this one. <clears throat> I can go in, I remember when I used to run, I ran on my 50th birthday a long time ago, I ran the White Rock Half Marathon. Got out there and went 13 miles, felt great, and then I stopped in at a Savon Pharmacy, put my arm under there, and I'm telling you, my blood pressure two hours later was like 110 over something, and my pulse was like 36 or 38. I was in great shape back then. Stopped running some years ago, but continued to work out. Uh, blood pressure is a good idea, but we can go to a pharmacy and put our arm in there and check our own blood pressure, 120 over 80, you know, kind of within normal limits. Now they're nudging that number, 112 might be better, 76 might be better, but if you go to a doctor and it's 122, <gasps> blood pressure medicine time. I'm just saying, be careful, okay? The next one is cholesterol tests. I've never, my cholesterol has always been elevated. I think it's 235 or something like that. Here I made it to 65 years young and I feel great. I won't take a statin drug. You might, and a doctor would probably hand me one, but I won't take it. Side effects of those scare me, and I have to wonder if elevated cholesterols really mean anything. We're having more heart attacks today than we were when cholesterol-lowering drugs came onto the market. Colorectal cancer, I guess there's a little card you can buy at a pharmacy and put a little of the stool on it and see if it turns a color and so forth, and they're recommending that. Uh, don't know much about that, never done it, but I think if I notice blood in the stool or something like that, I probably would, and I think anybody should. <clears throat> Immunizations, uh, if you've been following my newsletters, my blogs, and so forth, you know I believe there's two sides to every uh, issue in medicine, and I think this is one, and I think parents owe a fiduciary obligation to their children to look into this, but this is for adult men. Uh, I don't take immunizations. I'm trying to think. When I was in the military, I had to get a flu shot or something, I don't know, and I got 100 shots before I went to Vietnam. You guys know that story. Those have gone overseas. Uh, but immunizations is something I think that as much as you loved your wife and your husband, you know what happens when you have children. Oh, the agape love that you feel for these kids. Make the right decisions by studying both sides of an issue. In America, we walk into a doctor's office and he says, start immunizing. All I'm saying, if you trust that doctor and you've looked at this, go ahead. I'm, I'm all for it if you're all for it. Next one is interesting, prostate cancer. You saw my rant this morning as we entered the show. 
Um, I'm concerned about the reliability of the PSA test. And I want to read you something, this right out of uh, the website. Task Force has taken a pass on the issue. They say there's not enough evidence to recommend for or against routine PSA screening or digital rectal exam. While the PSA can detect prostate cancer in its early stages, it can also return many false positives. I disagree. I don't think the PSA is reliable at all to detect prostate cancer. Oh, by the way, it does detect prostate fungus. So says Dr. Costantini with the World Health Organization, and I commend him. Diabetes, that's a blood sugar test. I think if you're eating properly, you're exercising, you're taking the right supplements. Um, I, I haven't done that. Skin cancer, I guess you go to a dermatologist and let them look at your skin. Testicular cancer, once again, guys, if you're having bad pain, good idea to get to a doctor. I'm not. And so I'm not doing this, but I wanted to open your eyes a little bit and I wanted to ask the question, why are insurance companies pushing me to spend money in a doctor's office? Shouldn't they be saying, hey, Doug's right. If you change your diet, you live a relatively you know, stress-free lifestyle, you boost your immune system with exercise and so forth, maybe you don't need this. Don't go away, more to come. If you have knee pain, back pain, muscle pain, or any kind of pain, Flexin is here to help. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's what this Flexin user has to say. Well, I recommend Flexin because it has worked so well for my wife and I, and we are able to continue our work uh, pain-free as a result of taking this product faithfully. You've seen Flexin on Know the Cause with Doug Kaufman. Now's your chance to take advantage of this great offer. It's buy one, get one free, but you have to call right now. Call 1-800-N-PAIN. Which of my books fit you? Are you or a loved one suffering with allergies, arthritis, intestinal problems, or depression? In the Fungus Link One book, the diet is there, the antifungals are there, and so is the information on those disorders. I feel geezer good. Uh, it's wonderful to be my age and to feel like that. Now, I know one day, as I'm into my 70s and 80s and 90s and 100s, 110, 120s, I'm going to start feeling worse. But for the time being, I remember my dad and mom being old at my age, you know, 65. But I feel so good. I know I don't look good. If it weren't for your eyes and my mirrors, I'd be 30 years old. Um, now, John, producer, asked me to pull some things in a day off the internet, articles that I thought I wanted to touch on. And I want to continue this. Uh, gene mutation drives cartilage tumor formation. Gene mutation drives cartilage tumor formation. Okay, Doc, what causes the gene mutation? You know what? Fungus does. Poisons do. Isn't that interesting? All we look at is the end result. Oh, you've got cartilage tumor formation. You've got bone cancer. What caused it? Doc, why did my genes mutate? We don't know. Yeah, we do. It's pretty well published. Anti-inflammatory mechanism of dieting and fasting revealed I knew it. Folks, the wrong food make you inflame. The right foods help you to stop that swelling. At my age, I feel so good, and I don't notice swelling. I mean, it's really, really that important. Anti-inflammatory mechanism of dieting and fasting explain when you fast, the inflammation goes down. What makes bread rise? Thank you. The same yeast, I believe, is making you rise, and you encourage it when you eat foods, you know, like we have over here, some of these foods. Okay? Oh, let's see. Potential new breathalyzer for lung cancer. I love this one. Did you hear, or did you read my research paper that was published in Oncology News here a couple of months ago? It's on our website. In it, we talked about 27 people who were diagnosed with lung cancer. And then they did a little biopsy and they said, whoops, that isn't lung cancer at all. You've got an aspergilloma. You've got fungus in your lungs. They put all 27 on antifungal drugs and guess what? Not 26, all 27 don't have cancer anymore with antifungal drugs. Here's a brand new machine. Trust me, this is going to be worth billions of dollars in your hospitals. It's much like a spirometry. So you blow. And they will tell you if you have lung cancer. Guess what it's measuring? Volatile organic chemicals. 
Guess what makes them? Fungus and mycotoxins. I kid you not. Folks, we are going out of our way. And of course, the papers are all good. These are good doctors. These guys aren't conning anybody. They really believe this. But they don't get that fungus makes VOCs and that their tests are now going to measure it. How many more lungs will be pulled out? How many people on chemotherapy because of a test like the PSA test that I have to question its basis? What is it really measuring? Okay, had to tell you that one. That's important. Here's a fascinating one. The dangers of antibiotic overuse, kids' health. Antibiotic uh, misuse puts you and others at risk, Mayo Clinic. Study shows overuse of antibiotics, USA Today. Antibiotics are all, aren't always the answer, says CDC.gov. Antibiotic overuse may be bad for the body's good bacteria, says WebMD, and the list keeps going on and on. And the reason I bring that to your attention is because of this paper I pulled yesterday. In rural India, children receive wrong treatments for deadly ailments. Oh, shame on those Indians. In rural India, the kids are getting the wrong treatment. See where I'm going? In rural America, in big city America, they are getting the wrong treatments according to their own notes. Folks, if you live in a moldy home, that can cause asthma. It can cause COPD. Start to think fungus. Remember we say FUPO, fungus, until proven otherwise. No, by the by, always check with your doctor because pretty soon, thanks to know the cause, he's going to know all this. Hi, I'm Carlos Escalante. I traveled to the Patagonia regions of Chile to find the maki berry, a wild harvested fruit. Now for the first time ever, we have a patented extract, 700 times stronger in antioxidant value than the leading superfruits. Research show that it's preserving eye health and supporting healthy blood glucose levels, along with your immune systems. Call today to find out how you can get a free bottle of maki delphinol from Herbal Ultra. Barb and Frank Long of Long Life Unlimited are distributors of one of the best home cleaning degreaser products in the country called Orange TKO with Delemony. Also they feature many products in the Rafa Remedy line. Try this amazing product on your skin today. They also can serve you with 300 other products, many that are featured on Know the Cause. Ask for the Know the Cause special now by calling the number or logging on to longlifeunlimited.com. Remember, it's God given people approved, and doctor recommended. Wow, that was good. Dr. Emerson, methylation, big word, thank you. Uh, thank you, Kristen and Kyle, for being here today. Thank God for your eyes on the show. It's the only show of its kind out there, folks. Uh, finally today, HPV cancers in men take off, says the Scientific Journal. Guess what, guys? It's not just going to be blood pressure and cholesterol. It's now going to be a new vaccine against HPV, a sexually transmitted disease that they're recommending boys at 11 start. I don't know about you, but that wasn't me, okay? Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time as I say goodbye. What a way to end today's show.